Good morning, my Lawson Road friends. I hope everything's going well with everyone today and everybody's feeling good and had a wonderful week with the great weather we've had after Easter. And I know Pastor Richard's got wonderful things for y'all today as y'all praise and worship our, our mighty Lord. You know, last Thursday, my little grandson stayed at our house and we were talking about Good Friday. And I asked him, I said, you know, do you know what it means uh, about Good Friday? And he said, yes, that's when Jesus died on the cross. And I said, well, you know, let's talk about, you know, why they would call it Good Friday when Jesus died. And he thought for a minute and he said, it's because Jesus didn't stay dead. And I told him, I said, you know, that is exactly right. I said, but there's a little more to it. So they call it Good Friday because that's the day that Jesus died for our sins. And he died for our sins so that we didn't have to pay for him. He took it all on himself. And later he rose from the dead so that we can spend eternity with him in heaven if we put our faith in him. And he said, oh, now I understand. So, you know, that little conversation got me thinking. Sometimes we can get a little confused or overwhelmed when we don't understand why something's happening. It could be something like an illness, and we think, you know, why, why is this happening to me? Or maybe we've lost our job, and we think, oh my goodness, how are we going to afford to pay for everything? Or maybe our jobs moved us away from everyone we know, and we're, we're very lonely. Maybe our car broke down. It could be so many different things, but many times we just don't understand what God's doing. And why is he allowing something like this to happen to us? We just simply don't understand. But you know what? God understands. He has a plan and he's guiding us through that plan. And there's a reason for everything that happens in our lives. But a lot of times we just can't see it and we can't know what it is until much later if we ever know what it is. It could be something as simple as a delay in traffic that kept us from being in an accident that happened in front of us. Or it could be something as serious as an illness that gives us a witness that we can share later with others that are in that same situation that we went through. And my whole point is that God is the one that's in control. He created everything and he created us. He's all-knowing and he's all-powerful. The Bible is chock full of verses that tell us about God's might, his power, his majesty, and his holiness. But you know what else? We're truly blessed to have hymns that remind us of all these things about God. And the hymn I'm going to play for you today is one of those. But before I played it, I wanted to read it to you. And uh, let's think about the words that it has to say. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds your hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, the power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Let's listen to that last line one more time. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art.
Hope you all have a wonderful and blessed week.